Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss numerical based on direct shear test. A direct shear test was performed on a 6 cm by 6 cm sample of dry sand. The normal load was 360 Newton. The failure occurred at a shear load of 180 Newton. Plot the Mohr strength envelope and determine phi. Assume value of C equal to 0. Also determine the principal stresses at failure. Now the given data is area of cross section equal to 6 into 6 equal to 36 cm square. Normal stress is equal to normal load upon area that is 360 divided by 36. 10 Newton per centimeter square. Then shear stress is equal to shear load upon cross-sectional area that is 180 upon 36 that is equal to 5 Newton per centimeter square. So at these conditions means at a normal stress of 10 and shear stress of 5 a failure has occurred. So we will have to plot this failure point on a graph. So let's Plot a graph on which x-axis represent normal stress, y-axis represent shear stress. Now let us establish the failure point. So x-coordinate of the failure point will be 10 Newton per centimeter square and y-coordinate of the failure point that is shear stress is 5 Newton per centimeter square. So this point of intersection is D. D represents failure of the soil sample. So this D point lies on more strength envelope. Now since value of C is equal to 0, more envelope passes through origin. So by joining point O and D, we will get more envelope. Since this point D represents failure, the mohar circle passes through this point. So in order to draw the mohar circle, let us draw a perpendicular to the Mohr envelope. This perpendicular intersect the sigma axis say at a point C. So taking this point of intersection C as a center and CD as a diameter, a Mohr circle is drawn. The left hand side intersection of Mohr circle to the sigma axis represents the value of minus this and right hand side intersection represents the value of major stress. So value of minus stress is 6.9 Newton per centimeter square and value of major stress is 18.11 Newton per centimeter square. The angle of inclination of Mohr envelope with sigma axis gives the value of angle of internal friction. That's why value of phi is equal to 26.6 degree. Hence, final values are phi equal to 26.6 degree. Sigma 3 is equal to 6.91 Newton per centimeter square. And sigma 1 is equal to 18.11 Newton per centimeter square. Thank you.